and starting the game now. G'day everyone, my name is Ryonix and welcome to Blame, an alpha of a horror game that came out a few years ago? I don't know, it's... We, apparently it came out in like 2013 and never got updated as far as I know. But we're going to give it a go. I hear it's actually really spooky. This includes menus. Above all, remember that you have a choice, don't die. I can guarantee nothing, good sir. Okay. Spooky atmosphere. Okay, there we go. I hope I don't have to do that while I'm running from something, because I don't know if I'll be able to. <laughs> this is interesting so far. What's it like without the flashlight? Oh, 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 fuck. No, thank you. God. Oh, God. EC Lab. Well, it's the only... <laughs> okay, it's it, it's just here. This is it, I believe. Oh, but it doesn't... This looks spooky. Um, fuck, what's my inventory again? I... Oh, God, my flashlight's about to run out. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, it automatically changes for me. Okay, good. But I need to find another battery soon. Let's see, three dead batteries to make a new usable one. D okay, well that's cool. But I I don't have any good stuff. Um. No, I need batteries. Give me ba. Thank you, thank you. Is this just my color blindness? Are these walls like fucking bright orange? It's not the spookiest of colors. <gasps> oh, ah, uh, I didn't pick my gender in the character creations option. Toxic waste bin. Very nice. You need one of those in the toilet. Um, I kind of don't want to open these. What's behind door number three? Okay, that was nothing. I guess we can see what's behind this one. So there's a battery, I do not want to miss it. We've hit a snag in Project God's head. Something's... <clears throat> okay, yeah, I don't care. Don't want to listen to that. I could not move while he was doing that. We've hit a snag in Project God's head. Is there something here? Because that is some... Spooky music! Patra! Oh yes, thank you. Wait, that's not a battery. Got, got some shit. That's cool. This is one of those games where if I do die eventually it's something battery, thank you. I don't know if I want to replay it just because like, I haven't been given a goal. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. I'm finding occasional things, but it's like, you haven't got me invested in the story. Oh, book that I'm not going to read, lovely. Oh, and batteries, that's awesome. I love that. I'm kinda curious what happens when the flashlight comes off, because they're static there. Does Slen- Does Slenderman come to kill me? Hi, 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 hi. Is there something? Was there something there, or was that just the sound? The gods told us to. Okay, cool. Newsflash, buddy. Gods are not the most talkative types. In fact, I learned that the other day. My Christian friend was telling me that, like, apparently, if, like, a god or an the generator is not active. Fun. Apparently, like, in instances, uh, where gods are aimed. Fuck! 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 I was in the middle of a story! Jesus! God, that actually terrifies me! Find me! Fuck! I can't run, I can't run, I can't run, I can't run. God damn it. Sense of it just yeah. Okay, so apparently in instances where gods or angels come down to talk to you, to tell you to do things, it's normally like the devil or demons, apparently. I don't fucking know. I don't care right now! Fucking son of a bitch! That is terrifying! Like, my god! Just that design, it's so... It hits you out of nowhere, just... You see the two red eyes coming towards you. And, like, that's the beautiful thing. These monsters, they don't hurt me at all. Like, one actually got me, came right up on me. 
twice and didn't hurt me in any foreseeable way. Didn't drain my battery as far as I can tell. Hey, there he is. Oh no, no. That's something else. That's a candle? No. I have no idea. That was a good spooking. And I have a feeling there is going to be more. Which makes me very happy! Oh, okay. Yeah, see, they don't. They might drain my battery, actually. Next time I see one, I'm gonna watch the battery. Actually, I'm. Kind of. I'll, I'll keep walking around for a little bit. There's two things I wanna find out. I wanna find out what happens if I let the monster get me, and if I turn my flashlight off. Oh, wait, is that my health in the bottom left? What's that? It might be. It's a lot of experimentation I have to do! Hi, hi. Okay, good to know. So they can actually kill me, but it takes them a decent bit. This is- this game has some baller music, I love it. I do want to actually see what happens when I just turn my flashlight off, because it looks like it summons the monsters. Or is it just spooky? So if I turn the flashlight on, then that goes away. So I'm just gonna walk around for a bit with the flashlight off, see what happens. Spooks. I don't think it does anything. Then again, it seemed like when I was changing batteries before, like it summoned the monsters. And it seems like the monsters only appeared. Oh, I'm walking into a corner. It seems like the monsters only appeared after I reached the place where the generators were. I don't think they're around at this time. Where's the generators? You could have ended this. Could I have? Could I have really? If you're being completely honest with yourself. Okay, I think this is the one. Nope. This is... Oh, this place. Yay. Like, it's a good game. It's definitely scary, but there's just like... I'm not invested in the story. It's like... I have no drive to explore the maze other than just to complete the game. I have no idea what's going on. It's like, to be fair, there are stories that can so that can do this sort of thing, that can just like leave you in there and then have you slowly figure out the stories you go along with little clues. Like, the writing on the wall is great, I love that, but, but you still, you have to do something to get me interested to begin with. There has to be an inciting event at the start. Generator is unactive. Okay, and I think the monsters are summoned now, so if I turn the flashlight off, does it summon them? No, I think it's just purely for spooks. I will admit, it terrified me when the flashlight went off for the first time and the whispers started happening. That was... Ooh, that was so spooky, but... It's just... I don't know. It's, if it doesn't do anything... If it doesn't end in anything, then what's the point? It's just there to freak you out. Am I just going around in circles? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> thank you for joining me on this adventure. If you enjoyed it, then let me know down in the comments below. And I'll be sure to get to it as soon as I can. And thank you so much for watching. Expect more spooky videos soon. And thank you for being here. <laughs> Goodbye. Now, if we hear growling in the forest, do not stop and try to find it. Just run. Because milk, it'll try it. Cute, Ruby and Sister was all that, maybe that was a mistake. <laughs>